to Beeble Rocks. Okay, hello. Uh, as we say, prosit, which means a happy new year, 2022. And uh, I think that's the first, yes, that's the first video we do this year. And what is better than starting the new year with a new amp? <laughs> Here it is. It's the orange OR120. Uh, a monster. I had this cabinet, the old orange cabinet, for years and years. And so I thought... Looks good, sounds good. Let's complete the half stack. And here it is. 100 watt, or let's say 120 watt, very loud, very clear, uh, very powerful, mid-range. I love it. <laughs> and like always, uh, it's more the problem getting this beast a little bit tamed. So what did I do? I tried around with the... A little bit funny uh, knobs. You have an input character change. I think yeah, there you can change the bass or middle treble uh, impedance. And then we have high and low. Then we have this beautiful feast knob, which is presence. Yeah, and, and again, no master volume. So I have it on one and a half, <laughs> which is quite loud with the tube zone, obviously. That's the sound with the tube, uh, without the tube zone. Dead clean. Tube zone. Another uh, thing I want to talk about is how to use, or my way to use, uh, a two humbucker guitar. Because you may think that's not really versatile, but it is. Uh, uh, I always uh, start on the neck pickup with volume way down to get a really nice clean. <laughs> As you like, really clean or with a little bit of hair. Yes, and then I have the volume of the treble pickup a little bit more open, let's say five or six, and then middle position. I love this sound. It gets a little bit uh, hairy from the treadle pickup, but keeps the full the, the fullness of the, of the neck pickup. And then I can dial in a little bit more volume of the treble. So, happens sometimes, moving cables around. I, I turned, uh, what is it, 
the one really important knob of the tube zone, tone knob. So it's what's too harsh. Now it's like I always have about noon. <laughs> because I miss this mellow sound. For me, the great sound sound of two humbuckers when the treble pickup pickup begins to to get some distortion, and the neck keeps keeps the the fullness. <laughs> I think I learned this from, from the Olme brothers. When I was young, I had, uh, yes, I had the English boys like Richie Blackmore, David Gilmore, Jeff Beck, uh, and so on. But from the Americans, besides of Jimi Hendrix, uh, I, I was blown away from the Olme brothers. Uh, I think I listened to it millions of times. I think uh, a Tiki Pets, uh, used to play, I don't know, but I think it was a uh, more the cleaner amp. Uh, maybe it was a Fender or, or a hundred watt Marshall. But Duane Orman, I think he used uh, fifty watt Marshalls, so the, the, he had always the little bit more gain and less power. And this was a beautiful sound. <laughs> sounds fantastic. Gets even better. Uh, if you start using some pre-boost, let's try the color driver. <laughs> And when I want to rock on, treble.
great. The good thing with the orange, it's similar, it's in between Marshall Hybert. This really, really strong mid-range punch and everything you need. But you have to be a little bit careful with the knobs. Uh, and it gets really great turning it up, as always. Uh, okay, then I will play a little tune with this very good frying. Uh, and will uh, I will only use the tube zone. So it's built up like a slow uh, tune with some keyboards because I got easy keys, which is not bad for a non-keyboard player. And uh, the rest is also from tune track, the Siberia drama and a little, uh, some bass. Okay, see you next time. Rock on and please subscribe. Bye bye. Mm-hmm.